sure other robots who were better. No, pray thee, good Meg, I'll wear this. By my troughs, not so good, and I warrant your cousin will say so. My cousin, the fool, and thou art another. I'll wear none but this. Your gown's the most fair fashion, in faith. I saw the Duchess of Milan's gown that they wear so. That exceeds, they say. By my troughs, but a nightgown in respect of yours. <sighs> Cloth of gold and cuts. Laced with silver and set with pearls, down sleeves, side sleeves, and skirts, round underborn with a bluish tinsel. But for a fine, quaint, graceful, and excellent fashion, yours is worth ten of it. God give me joy to wear it. My heart is exceeding heavy. It will be heavier soon, by the way, to a man. I'm not ashamed. <coughs> of what, lady? Speaking honorably? Is not marriage honorable in a beggar? Is not your lord honorable without marriage? I think you would have me say, saving your reverence, a husband, and bad thinking, do not rest, true speaking. I'll offend no one. Is there any harm in the heavier for a husband? And it be the right husband and the right wife. Otherwise, tis light and not heavy. Ask my lady beat yourself. Here she comes. Tomorrow, because. Good morrow, sweet hero. Wait, how now? Do you speak in the sick tune? I am out of all other tune, methinks. Collapse into light of love. That goes without a burden. Do you sing it to the death? Ye light of love with your heels, and if your husband hath stables enough, you shall see he lack no barns. So oh, illegitimate construction, I scorn that with my heels. <laughs> it's almost five o'clock, cousin. It is time you are ready. My troth, I am ill. For a hawk, a horse, or a husband. For the letter that begins them all. H. Well, and you be not turned Turk. There's no sailing by the star. What means the fool, Tro? Nothing I, but God send every one their heart's desire. These loves the Count sent me, they are of an excellent perfume. I am stuffed, cousin. I cannot smell. A maid and stuffed? There's goodly catching of cold. Oh, God help me. God help me. Since when have you professed apprehension? Even since you left it, doth not my wit become me rarely. Not seen enough? You should wear it in your cap. I might draw. I am sick. Get you some of this distilled Cardus Benedictus and <laughs> lay it to your heart. It is the only thing for a woman. There's a minister with this? Uh, Benedictus. Why Benedictus? You have some moral in this Benedictus? Moral? No. By my troth, I have no moral meaning. I meant plain holy thistle. You may think perchance that I think you are in love. <laughs> Nay, fire lady, I'm not such a fool to think what I list, nor I list not to think what I can. Nor indeed I cannot think, for I would think my heart out of thinking <laughs> that you are in love, oh. or that you will be in love, or that you can be in love. And yet Benedict was such another, and now is he become a man, for he swore he would never marry. And yet now, in despite of his heart, he eats his meat without grudging. Oh. And how you may be converted, I am not. But methinks you look with your eyes as other women do. <laughs> what pace is this that thy tongue keeps? Not a false gallop. Madame, Madame Petra, the Prince, the Count, Signor Benedict, Don John, and all the garrets of the town come to fetch you up to church today. Come help me to dress, good cuz, good night, good Ursula. 